Hello, it's Chris. And Jack. We're here. <laughs> it's Thursday, and we are going to do another food bank meal. So they give us these. They're corn muffin mix. So we are going to make mini corn dog muffins today for dinner. Well, we're going to have other stuff too, but we're going to do corn muffin mix. <laughs> so we need a cup and a half of milk. Because this has got to sit for a few minutes and fluff up, I guess. We need um, six eggs, Jack. You wanna? There's one on top. We can get five other ones out. So there's one cup. And of course, I spilt it on the counter already. <laughs> okay, you can start handing them to me. And we need um, six eggs. We did three boxes. Because we're going to need 24 um, muffins. There's two, three. Don't forget the ones you set out, too. Well, I won't get those two last. Four. And remember, if you're gardening, save your eggshells to grind up really good for your dirt. I'm going to put the milk and the eggs away. We'll have more room on the counter. Oh, we will? Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. All right, so what it says to do is mix all this up. I should have let Jack do the mixing, huh? Jack's like, I'm over here too late. Yeah. <laughs> so while I'm doing this, while I'm mixing up, I want you guys to know I'm going to do a few things differently with my channel. Obviously, we're going to cook and do all that good stuff, but I'm going to do more food bank things um, and kind of show you what we get from the food bank. Um, we are going to do food bank on Saturday, so we're going to show you what we get. Um, somebody's going to help me set that up. And... You're going to do more cooking from the food bank. I want to do more preserving um, to show you. Can we get two Jethro bowls? Um, more preserving of food. Um, oh, the big one just moved. The bigger ones. And how to make your food last and what to do with your food. So um, that's what I, I want to put the channel towards that stuff too. I want it to be more open. So like I want to show you some things that Jack and I got from the food bank and what I did with it. Um, we've gotten a bunch of apples. So I dehydrated the apples. Missy likes those too, don't she? Yeah. Just for a snack. And I put these in different things or we use them as a snack. So these apples came from the food bank. These are mini tomatoes. I canned some the other day and then I dehydrated them as well. And then we got tons of green peppers for a while. And so me and Jack dehydrated these yesterday and finished them and put them into an airtight jar. And when you when you um, dehydrate, just make sure you condition it for the first week. Shake it up, make sure everything's dry. Alright, so we're gonna expand the channel. So and you know if you have requests, and there is a if it works right, I've got um, a thing on my community page that says what you want to see more of. So we are going to cut up um, potatoes now, or potatoes. <laughs> Hot dogs. Hot dogs. <laughs> and we're going to do them in inch pieces. And these came from the food bank as well. So, yeah, they want to fatten us up too. <laughs> But it's things that, you know, um, people use all the time. Hot dogs. So I could see them making that, you know, something important. So we're going to do these an inch apart. So I think that's about an inch right there, Jack. So probably about four, four chunks out of that one hot dog. Excuse me, I got a dry throat today, I guess. 
We're going to get those all chopped up. Just like this. <coughs> Excuse me again. My goodness. Do you ever get that dry tickle and then it just doesn't want to go away? That's what it's doing to me right now. So we got a couple more minutes for this to foam up a little bit. So we'll be back as soon as that finishes foaming and then we'll be right back. All right, so we're back. So we're gonna take our trays. Jack has two sixes, I have a 12. So you wanna spray your pan really, really good. So when you do this, like this one, old Jack, let me show you a trick. You set it up on its side like this and that way you get the hole inside. See how you do that? Everything's been gotten when you do it that way. Because if you do it like this, it's kind of just pooling at the bottom, you know what I mean? So for those of you that's never done it, just put your pans on their sides and spray the whole thing. It'll be fine. So then it says to take a tablespoon measure or a small um, cookie one and plop it into the bottom. And that's what we're going to do. Of course, I'm making a mess again. <laughs> Just for you, Jack. Actually, Jack takes out the trash and he cleans the floor. Well, he sweeps it. And the dishes and stuff all get left to me, don't they, Jack? Yeah. yeah uh-huh. I'm sure you could do this with something other than cornbread, but then it wouldn't be corn dogs. <laughs> That's just my stove saying it's ready. You have to cook these at 400 degrees, so we had to turn our stove on to get it ready. Do that if it goes over a little bit, it's fine, Jack. No biggie. Jack's trying not to make a mess, aren't you? Yeah. He got burned yesterday and he gets cut once in a while, and I told him that's all part of cooking. As the burns yeah. and the Butter. and the cuts will come along with it. That's just part of cooking. If you never get burnt and you never get cut, you're not cooking. That means you're just throwing stuff in a microwave. <laughs> you want to use this one, Jack? Might be a little bit easier. Yeah. There you go. All right, so now... I'm going to be able to get more, more in it. I'm going to scooch it this way just a little bit so they can see. So now you're going to take your little hot pieces of hot dog and you're going to stick it right down the center of each one. I've never liked corn dogs, so this is going to be a new thing for me. Jack loves corn dogs. Oh, yeah. Anything that's junk food, guaranteed Jack likes it. <laughs> and I got hot dogs left. So if we have mixture left, we'll make some more. Because this is something that once you cook it, if you don't use it all up for dinner, you can, you know, freeze these, put them in the freezer and pop them in for you to have for lunch later. So we're going to put these in the oven for 10 minutes. Um, I also have some beans over there that I'm cooking up for tonight for dinner as well. And then we're going to do a nice side salad. But we'll be back in a few minutes when they're done. All right, so Jack told me to tell you guys goodbye because he took his food home because it was junk food and he was ready to go. <laughs> so I wanted to show you what it turned out. Now Jack's hot dogs turned out, they stuck up higher, but I put a little bit more um, stuff in mine. So that's what it turned out like. And they come out really, really easy as long as you, you know, spray your pan pretty good. Now we had leftover hot dogs and we had leftover um, corn muffin mix. So what I did do is this still very very hot. Let me turn on its side here. 
what I did is I took the leftover um, corn muffin mix and then I put the hot dogs in that. So there's no reason you couldn't have those cut up in squares and use them for breakfast. So I will be back for the big kahuna to try it and tell you what it tastes like. All right, there's Tom's plate. And Tom's going to taste it. We think, Tom. Tastes like miniature corn dogs. Is it good? Yeah, it's really good. Would you want it again? Mm-hmm. Well, you're going to because we have leftovers and you're going to have a breakfast. But anyway. <laughs> so we think, Tom. Kahuna approved. Kahuna approved. Bye, Tom. Bye, Tom. Have a blessed day and be a blessing. Before I let you go, um, I had talked to a young lady. She's got just 36 subscribers. She's um, very, very new, and she asked me and my sister for a little bit of help. Um, she is doing a giveaway, and I will have the link posted below my video so that you can um, check it out and enter her giveaway. It's for some really cool peppers, and maybe give her channel a look. It's uh, called Growing With Grace, and I will link that below. Have a blessed day.